Hey mom, it's me Sev and hi, how are you? How you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy holidays. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing my reflections about how to become a good digital citizen. So this is all about how you properly act on social media. So it's all about think before you click. So watch my reflections after this video. Thank you so much. As the rate of technological advancement continues to accelerate, the world's reliance on the internet for day-to-day -day activities grows. Today, Billions of people all over the planet are interact using various technologies. This interaction has created a digital society that affords its citizens opportunities for education, employment, entertainment, and social interaction. As in any society, digital citizens are expected to behave in accordance with accepted norms, rules, and laws. The majority of today's students are completely at ease with technology, but are they using it correctly? Do they comprehend their roles and responsibilities in the digital age? Children and young people use social networks as modern means of communication, so it is essential that they understand what freedom of expression is and what the limits are when it comes to expressing opinions, what human rights values are and what responsible behavior is in virtual social space. Trolls on social media are out to steer up trouble on the internet. These are people who purposely start arguments or post inflammatory messages in order to enrage others. They take pleasure in making others angry or upset. If you see trolls responding to other people, just ignore them. But what should you do if someone starts trolling you? How you react in this situation, however, makes all the difference. That is why you must be prepared to deal with it. Consider your options before clicking. You could inadvertently harm someone on the other side of the screen. Let us pause for a moment to recognize that what or who we are interacting with on the internet are real people with real feelings, just like us. Now, if we post things about a person, such as rumors or gossip, in order to instill hatred in the minds of others, or if we publish material severely humiliating them, we can harm a human being and will never know how this will affect them or how they'll react to it who are engaging in cyberbullying or harassment as a result of this. In a digital world where information is always at our fingertips and we as a society want to share everything about our lives and social media, it's critical to think before we post. It's easy to believe that nothing bad will happen, but it's always best to be cautious. Posting sensitive information is a little possible. If at all, it's a great way to limit your personal risk and reduce your chances of becoming a target. So while a beautifully filtered photo of your passport may appear to be the ideal thing to share in anticipation of your trip to Barbados, it's probably best to keep it to yourself. Good citizenship entails learning about how the world works so that we can behave appropriately and have the best chance of having a pleasant experience. It entails learning about a variety of related issues so that we can develop good habits and behaviors so that our presence is welcomed by other members. So long and God.